الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من وله أما بعد أو نبو شيخ شيخ أبو عبد الله عبد الرحمن الميسان حفظه الله من الله يحفظه ويحفظه ويحفظه He Abdul Allah reminded us of an important matter. He started with mentioning and saying that our Prophet, our Messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa warned us against a very dangerous matter, a very severe and dangerous matter. And it is going extreme in the religion. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa he warned us by saying what means beware of going extreme in the religion. And likewise, with saying what means that indeed what has destroyed those who were before you is their going extreme in the religion. And so he sallallahu alayhi wa warned us against going extreme in the religion and told us that those who were before us, what destroyed them was their going extreme in the religion. But yet he sallallahu alayhi wa he told us that they will be from this ummah, from, from his followers sallallahu alayhi wa and from this ummah, from, the, <coughs> from amongst the Muslims, there will be those who will follow, who will follow the footsteps of those who were before us. And they will go extreme in the religion just like they have gone extreme in the religion. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the meaning of the hadith, Indeed, you will follow those who, who were before you, footstep to footstep. So much so, that even if they were to enter into the hole of a lizard, you will enter into it. And the, the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, they asked, is it, do you, are you referring to the Jews and the Christians? And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, who else? Who else other than them? And so, he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned us against going extreme in the religion. And likewise, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he mentioned to us and he told us that those who were before us, those who were before us from the Jews and the Christians, the people of the book, they have gone extreme in the religion as Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, say, O people of the book, do not go extreme in your religion. And so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that they have gone extreme in their religion. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned us against going extreme in our religion. And from the forms of going extreme in the religion that the Jews and the Christians have fallen into, and many of the Muslims imitated them and followed them, it is taking the graves, it is taking the graves of their prophets and of the of the righteous people from amongst them as places of worship. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said in the meaning of the hadith, he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the meaning of the hadith, may the curse of Allah be upon the Jews and the Christians. They have taken, they have taken the graves of their prophets and the righteous, righteous from amongst them as places of worship. And we find that many of the Muslims imitated them. We find that many of the Muslims, they have taken and they have built masajid and places of worship on the graves of many of the righteous from amongst them. And this is from the forms of going extreme in the religion. And there are many, many other ways of going extreme in the religion that our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu has warned us against three men came to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, came to the, one, of the how, uh, one of the wives or one of the houses of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then they asked about his worship Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when they were informed of the worship of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how he used to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, it, it seemed like they considered it to not be much and to be little. And then one of them, he said, as for me, then I will pray the night prayers every night and I will not sleep. And the second person, he said, I will fast every day and will not stop doing so and stop, I will not stop fasting. And as for the third, he said, I will not get married. Or in another narration, he said, I will not eat meat. And when the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam heard about their statement, he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, as for me, I am the most fearful of Allah from amongst you and the most pious from amongst you. But yet, I, I pray night prayers and I sleep and I fast and break my fasting and I get married and in, in the other narration and I eat meat and whomsoever goes against my sunnah, then it is not from me. And likewise, 
the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, one time he saw a man who was being carried by his, or who, who was being held and helped by his two sons, an old man. And he asked, what is the matter with this man? And he was informed that he made, that he made an oath that he will not, that he will not ride and that he will walk will, and will not ride will not ride the camel or a riding beast. And the Messenger وسلم, he said, command him, tell him to ride an animal. For Allah subhanahu wa is not in need of him torturing himself. Likewise, the Messenger وسلم, one time, he was giving a sermon and he saw a man who was, he saw that all the people were sitting down and sitting in the, sh in the shade. And he saw a man who was standing in the sun and he asked, what is the matter with this man? And he was informed that he also likewise made an oath that he will not sit and that he will not sit in the shadow and he will stand, that he will stand in the sun and that he will fast. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, command him, command him to sit down and to sit in the shade and to continue his fasting. For Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is not in need of him torturing himself. And so we find in the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam severe warnings against going extreme in the religion. We find that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala likewise has warned us and has told us about the way of those of the Jews and the Christians that they are the ones who go extreme in the religion. Allah Subhanahu and the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said in the meaning of the hadith those who go extreme they are destroyed. Those who go extreme, they are destroyed. And for this reason, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he warned, he warned against anyone saying the people are destroyed. The people are destroyed. There is no good in the people. And other statements of the likes of these, because the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, whomsoever, in the meaning of the hadith, whomsoever says the people are destroyed, then he himself is destroyed. Because this is a form of going extreme and rather one should give glad tidings to the believers and say good things and the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the good omen and he hates the bad omen and the and having and having bad thought. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned us and told us about the people of the book in the meaning of the ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O people of the book, do not go extreme in your religion. And there are many forms of going extreme. And from them is people making impermissible the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made permissible. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, say, who has made impermissible the, the adornment that Allah has given to his servants and the pure and the good from the provision of Allah? Who has made it impermissible? This is from the matters making permissible the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made impermissible. Nowadays, we hear of people saying and claiming that the slaughter, the slaughter or the meat or the food of the people of the book is impermissible or that getting married to women from the people of the book is impermissible. And this is from the forms of going extreme in the religion. This is a form of going extreme in the religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it clear. He subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all-knowing the most knowledgeable subhanahu wa ta'ala. But yet, he subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly said in the meaning of the ayah, and the food of those who, uh, of the people of the book, or those who were given the book is permissible to you, and, it, and your food is permissible to them. And so, this is from the forms of going extreme in the religion. And likewise, from the forms of going extreme in the religion, is claiming and saying that it is impermissible to buy such and such product and that it is obligatory upon the believers to boycott such and such products and they name certain products. This is from the forms of going extreme in the religion. Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran that the Jews, they killed their prophets, that they killed their prophets. But yet, and this is something that our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa knew without a doubt. But yet, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he bought from them, and he sold them, and he dealt with them, and he continued upon that. 
not only at the times of weakness as some people claim. No, it was it continued on during the time of strength when the Messenger وسلم, and his companions were strong. It continued until the, the time the Messenger وسلم, died. He died وسلم, with his shield or armor that it was pawned to a Jew, to a Jewish man. When he وسلم, died, his shield or his armor was pawned to a Jewish man. This shows us that he continued to deal with them and buying and selling. Why he وسلم, knew that they are the people who killed the prophets and the messengers of Allah. They killed the prophets of Allah. And so it is impermissible. It is impermissible for anyone to claim that buying or selling to of, of such products and they name certain products that this is from the forms of going extreme in the religion. We need to differentiate between one. <coughs> but we need to differentiate between one leaving off eating or drinking a certain product because he chooses to do so and between between that and making it impermissible upon the people this is in the forms of saying and claiming that such and such is permissible or impermissible Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah and do not say to that which your tongues describe this is impermissible and this is impermissible so that you make lies on behalf of Allah claiming that such and such product must be boycotted and won't, no one is allowed to buy or sell such product this is from the forms of making the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made permissible, making them impermissible. And this is speaking on behalf of Allah without knowledge. And that is not permissible. It is not permissible to speak about on behalf of Allah without knowledge. And making things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made permissible, making them impermissible is worse and more severe than making the things that are impermissible to make them permissible. And also from the forms of going extreme in the religion, that our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, warned us against is trying to play tricks and selling and buying things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made impermissible and claiming that one does not eat it or does not drink it that because it is impermissible such what, as what we hear many times from Muslims that they say that they do not drink alcohol but they sell it but they don't drink it because it, it is impermissible uh, the Messenger وسلم, he told us he said in the meaning of the hadith, may the curse of Allah be upon the Jews. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made, the, made the, the fat of dead animals impermissible for them, they melted it and they used it as oil. Or they melted it and painted or they used it to, for, for their ships. And so the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa made it clear that Allah, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa made it clear that selling things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made impermissible is impermissible in itself. And so if one speaks, one must speak upon knowledge or remain silent and keep himself safe from speaking on behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who, from those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them the beneficial knowledge and the righteous good deeds.